Hi everybody, this is All Things Tasha. This is one of my vacation videos. As you can see, my hair has gone native. Um, I hope you don't mind. It's a little frizzy, but we're just going to make it work and do what it do. Um, I have three subscription uh, boxes that I want to share with you. So hopefully this won't be a video more than I say maybe 15 minutes. I'm going to try to go faster. All right, so the first one we're going to get it started with is Ipsy because I'm so behind and I've already taken it out of the little bag, but I wanted to show you. So here is, uh, what is it, the June uh, bag. So it's this leopard with lime green print and then it also that didn't fit inside this pink bag or whatever uh, is this dry shampoo. Now I've already tried the dry shampoo. Let me put it like this. Sisters with curly hair uh, and I'm even gonna go so far as seeing most african-american women this is not gonna work out for us now it did feel really good on my scalp but uh, it turned my hair like snow white so yeah that's not gonna fly so this is gonna find a good home and so let's get inside the bag shall we so the first thing that we kind of have up, and I haven't opened this item yet. This one is a Star Looks pencil, and I guess I should have pre-prepped it. Um, but I'm probably not going to be able to swatch this one because I don't want to spend a lot of time. But I will show you what I got. And this is the Star Looks in Tickle Me Pink. I think this is going to be a really pretty color based on this in here, if you can see that at all. And so I think that's going to be a really pretty mauve pink. And so I'll let you know how that works out. But I don't want to spend tons of time trying to swatch things this go around. I'm just going to show you what I got. The next thing I got was an NYX or a NYX uh, cream blush. And this one is in hot pink, I believe. I'm going to turn it around for you. It's hot pink. And this is a cream blush. And I've never really tried a cream blush before. Um, whoa, it is very creamy. Um, it's definitely, let me see if I can show you the swatch. I'm going to do probably a lot smoother swatch. Um, I'm going to blend it out just a little bit. I'm definitely going to have to use a really light hand with it. It reminds me a little bit of my MAC blush, um, the frosted one that I got, the special collection, but I definitely will need to go with a very easy hand. I think this can be really uh, pretty, um, but definitely using a light hand approach. Um, I think I might pick a different color for next go round, but that's just what I'm seeing. Um, the next one is uh, a J-Cat sparkling cream palette and I'll just show you okay so I haven't used this one yet um, I'm hearing mixed reviews about the level of glitter that's in it so I don't know what to say about that um, and then the next thing that I received is this gel liner and I'll pull it out the box for you and I'm not going to swatch this one um, because I, I don't want to open up this particular gel liner um, and use it really. Uh, but this is a really cool design by uh, Kaylin. And well, I'm going to open it, but I don't want to swatch it if that makes any sense. It's this pretty, pretty smoky purple, if you can see that. And then the top of it, it's the little brush. So it's kind of a very cool design. It's built in like this. So I think this will work really well. So that's one thing. So that's what I got in this particular uh, bag. So that's kind of cool. And so I got a blush. I got a gel liner. Um, I got this. And then I also received this. So that's not too bad. Oh, and I can't forget uh, the lip liner by Star Look. So I would have to say for $10, Ipsy is awesome. Um, 
and I'll tell you a little bit more later. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut down a lot of my subscriptions, but I'm definitely keeping Etsy. So we'll see. The next one I want to show you is my Julep Maven box. This month's box is particularly good. I didn't show anyone last month's box because they had that major fiasco um, with the like DD cream. Mine came half empty, but when I called customer service, they were phenomenal and they gave me um, a full credit for a free box. And so I spent my julep points on this box right here. So let me go ahead and show you. And this is a really pretty box. Um, I've already opened it to kind of preview uh, what's in it. I love the paper this month. And the paper was already kind of fuddled like that. But let me move this to the side. Because I am growing quite a collection of goodies over here. And I'll talk to you more in another video probably about what's going on. So I received this quote and it says, The cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. And I always love these like little uh, quotes that they put in the julep boxes. I always appreciate that. And so this month's box I got was the classic with a twist. And this one came with a beach tonic uh, dry body oil and I think it might be the best thing in the box I just love it now one of our bonus items that was in the box believe it or not are these blotting papers these are green tea facial blotting papers and I believe there's 40 of them in this package and I'm so excited about that because that's a special bonus and I really like how julep is going more towards cosmetics um, I like their polish, don't get me wrong, but I like a little variety, especially in um, a subscription box. And so this is hitting all the bells. So I don't know if I'll be getting a julep box every single month, but I love the fact that I can be able to put it on pause. So let me show you the first thing. And this is the uh, dry uh, beach tonic oil. And this is the dry body oil. I'm just going to pull it out of here. Now, I've already tried a little bit of it, but not much. I even sprayed a friend because I wanted her to see how pretty this packaging is. And I want to show you. Look at how pretty the packaging is for this particular thing. It just, it's awesome. Um, and I'm going to spray a little on myself. Um, it's a dry oil. It's not something where you feel like, oh my gosh, it's too much. It's just enough where you feel moisturized, but you don't feel overwhelmed. And I really like it. And it smells so doggone good. I don't even know how to explain it to you. This is awesome. Um, I may go back and buy another one of these. Um, I just like it so much. This is awesome. So, and it's a full size item. Um, and I think for this month's box, it was phenomenal. The next thing I want to show you are my polishes. And so, I'm just going to take them out the crinkly paper and we'll move on. I think I'm going to make this video under 15 minutes. We will see. All right, so I got two polishes this month, and as I told you a little bit before, uh, I went with Classic with a Twist, and I know you never ever see my nails like painted, but trust me, I actually do paint them. It's just somehow it doesn't work out for these videos. And this one right here is kind of like a smoky, mauve kind of dark, dark, uh, kind of almost gray purple um it's a really pretty pretty color and i saw this one because julep's been doing something different where they've had models who are caucasian and models who are african-american model what their polishes look like on their hands and so for me this gives me a much better idea of what i might like and i wish more people would do something like that because a lot of times i'm like well i don't know if it'll look good on me and i know polish is one of those things where people are like well it'll probably look good on everyone but depending on your skin tone it doesn't necessarily work out that way. Um, the last polish I got, this one is Cassie. And I don't know if you can be able to see it. It's this really, I'm going to turn it that way. 
it's this really like pretty pretty cream pink um I think this will look really pretty but I have a lot of cream pinks so I don't know what I'm gonna do and um this one over here these this is Elena so that's pretty much my julep box I have to say that out of everything that I got in my julep box this month I would have to say that the green tea facial blotting papers and the dry body oil these are gonna probably be my favorites um, I like the polishes, don't get me wrong, but these are more exciting to me. So I think for $19.99, this is a phenomenal deal. So that's next. And so the long-awaited glossy box. So this is my glossy box. I picked this up today um, at my P.O. box, which is good because it's over 100 degrees in El Paso. Hence the hair. I'm not even trying to straighten it or blow dry it. I'm just letting it do what it do. Um, it's too hot to try to do anything with it. So I hope you understand. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but I don't know. Um, I'll probably be doing my 4th of July video tomorrow. So we'll see what my hair does in the morning. But anyway, the next box, and this is the controversial Dallas Shaw box. And I have to tell you the truth. I canceled my glossy box. This is probably my last one for a while. Um, they may convince me to come back, so I'm not going to say it's an absolute, but I'm really tired of them charging and then they're always really, really late. Um, so for me, that's a really, really crazy thing. Um, I'm really kind of tired of them like sending the box late every month. They didn't used to be this way. And you can read more about the scandal and all the drama about why the box was held up. If you look at, uh, what is it, makeuptalks.com. Um, and it was also on Facebook, but I'm not going to get into that. I was just annoyed that my box was so darn late. So uh, what came in the box is this glossy magazine. Um, I think this will be interesting to look at. They're getting a little bit heftier um, from month to month. I hope they get a little bit more substance to them because to me it seems more like a kind of a lookbook more than a magazine. But maybe they're building tip towards that. So here's the thing that I think is very cute. Dallas Shaw. Uh, she uh, illustrated this box, I believe, and this is very, very cute and cool. Now, I wish every glossy box came uh, designed as uh, pretty. Um, I like the pink, don't get me wrong, but it would be interesting if they did a few more boxes designed like this. Um, I thought it was gorgeous. And then on the inside, and by the way, this month's box is white, which actually I like the white box over the pink. It's just shockingly enough and so it's tied with this cute pink uh well no it's not a pink it's a white though and it has this little card uh that matches the box um and she wrote us a little note and i'm not gonna read it because i don't want the video to go too too long um but i'll show you what i got so the first thing that's in the box is the Spa Ritual uh, Polish and well, let's see and this one is like a light almost like um, wedding day pink I'm gonna say like a baby pink like a cream pink um, I'm not sure how much coverage it'll have but it is a quite pretty color and I could be able to wear that. It looks so, like something I would wear more in spring versus uh, summer but some people got some really dark colors so I'm really fortunate that I got a more light um, toned color. Um, the next thing is the Sea Booth uh, Honey Almond Nourishing Dry Oil Mist. and I actually I've tried this one already uh, before and I really like the smell of it. It's really sweet and it's very, very moisturizing. Um, so 
I'm glad to get this in the box and I'll probably get a larger size of it uh, because I particularly like it. The next thing I got is a leave-in conditioner so I may even be trying this very soon perhaps even tomorrow but we'll see. This is a Philippi Loving Leave-In Conditioner um, and this is a leave-in hair cream so I'm looking forward to actually trying this and this is a decent size that considering how much hair I have like believe it or not I know it looks like it's a tiny little bun up here but I have it double twisted so that it pulls my hair in a little bit more I have a lot more hair than what you think um now here's what I was really really excited for y'all know I love Tarte I really really love Tarte so here's the next thing that I got um, and they actually got the complexion correct uh, this is in the well let me just show you the box I just jumped straight into the doggone lipstick y'all y'all are like oh my god this is their uh, complexion brightening lipstick um, and this is in their medium to tan now I don't know if they have a tan to dark one I think this might be the darkest one that they have but don't quote me on that so it came in this really pretty box let me see if I can show you okay and then Look at the packaging. The packaging is so stinking cute. I'm like, let me turn it around a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's so stinking cute. So, here we go. This is what it looks like. And it has this little weird moisturizing ring around it. And then in the center, it has the color. And so I'm going to do a quick swatch and see what I think of it. And I'm going to swatch it above uh, the... Oh, wow. I might be able to wear this lipstick with that pink blush because, believe it or not... I think they're in the same uh, color family. So at the bottom you see the blush and then at the very top you kind of see this like kind of cream with a uh, fuchsia streak running through it. Now I'm hoping that I could be able to blend that out on my lips. I'm thinking that I could because nobody would want to walk around looking like they're foaming at the mouth. At least not on my complexion. So it's definitely bright but it would need to be blended. Last but not least, and I'm not going to test these out because it would just take too much time. We got an Oscar de la Renta. This is um, a sampler, a deluxe sampler of their essential luxuries. And these are six cents uh, by uh, Oscar de la Renta. And you know I'm a perfume fiend. And so uh, the first one I have here is Santo Domingo. Okay, the next one I have, um, let's see here, this one is Eau de Cologne. I don't know if you can see that one. The next one that I have is Eau de Parfum. The next one that I have is uh oh that's just a mess okay the Uda perfume one is mi corazon i'm so sorry i just realized i was doing the same silly thing mi corazon uh and i hope my pronunciation of that is correct i'm working on my spanish and this one is sargasso so those are the two previous ones that I kept saying Uda Parfum and all that. Yeah, I'm crazy. And it's late. This is Coralina. And the box smells really, really wonderful. So I'm looking forward to this. This one is called Oriental Lace. So I'm looking forward to trying all of these out. And then the very last one that I have is Granada. Um, this one right here. So 
I am looking forward uh, to trying all these out. And I have to say that this month's box is phenomenal. And so me kind of dropping glossy boxes, not based on quality, but just based on frustration um, of dealing with the timing of it. So I got this really cool bag of fragrance. I got my tart. Uh, let's see, I got a leave-in hair conditioner, and then I got a dry oil mist, and then I got this uh, light pink polish. So, I think this month's glossy box was really, really phenomenal, and I do hope they work out the logistics of things, uh, because that is the biggest aggravation that I have uh, with their company, hands down. Um, and this is much better quality uh, compared to what it has been in the last couple of months. Um, one of the reasons why I've, I decided to also uh, drop Glossy Box is because I feel like I'm giving away more of my box to my friends than I'm actually using. Now this month's box I can actually use, but the last three or four boxes I gave away more than half of my box to somebody else and so I don't really want to waste my money. So now that this video is past 20 minutes long and I didn't intend for it to go that long, I'm just going to say hey and howdy and good night. So that's all things Tasha. If you like, hit like. And if you love me, hit subscribe. And so with that being said, good night, y'all. <laughs>